I tried to mix this piece last week. Do you know how I make this piece? The wire on it? Cheese cutter. Cheese cutter, yes. Yes. Especially uh, if you are making stuff that is awfully thick, this is a very good way to do it. Because <laughs> you could remove your wall easier. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you use a cheese cutter to facet. Okay, remove some clay when your wall is still thick. And after that, you stretch it. Spin the wheel, you stretch it, and then you alter it. Okay, you can alter it. So uh, the top isn't uh, quite like a circle. Okay, um, it's a little bit oval shape, just like we did uh, the first project. Uh, we squeeze it, but this time you can dip, you open it a little bit wider so your hand can go inside and actually squeeze it, push it out. So that's today's project we're going to do. Try to make a circle. So you got a guideline here. Try to place your clay right in the circle. So when I'm drilling it, see that? This is the trick. My thumb is on the outside. So when I'm opening, actually I'm com also compressing the wall. Keep the wall a bit thicker though. Cheese cutter. Two more. <laughs> okay, so I cut the whole circle around it.
And now, without touching the outside, it's only the inside hand do the uh, stretching. I use all the fingers, yeah. See that? Here, 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 here. So the inside hand has to move slowly when you're stretching. in the uh, slip that I tossed in and try to coat it on the inside. Final stretch. A little bit slip on the inside. I was using this to uh, push down so the, the rim looks thicker.
in. and then change the shape that will look like the original shape but give you some movement of the clay and this will be very interesting okay right. so if you throw something thick don't worry about it <laughs> it's a good way to make it look nice okay